So guys, today we're playing Super Mario World from 1990 and 1991. So we've got Mario A, B or C. We're obviously going to choose a Mario A and first player game. So we're going to load in here. Uh, I originally thought this was the first level, but it's just the loading screen. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool, or Peach, is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. So, uh, Bowser's kidnapped Princess Peach, or back in the day, Princess Toadstool. So we've got Yoshi's house right now, if you look at the top of the screen. We've also got five lives, and like three in the previous Mario games. So we've got Yoshi's Island 1 and Yoshi's Island 2. So we're going to go Yoshi's Island 1, as it's the first level in this game. So we're going to load in here with a spike, or spiny, I can't quite tell, because I killed it too quickly. So we've got a golden dragon coin, I believe they're called. Um, I believe they just give you more points. Or extra coins, yeah, one coin, more points. So that was quite close there, and I died, but... You should actually die from those um, bombs right there. Because you could see Mario's hat skim the bomb. So we kill Spike or Spiny. Collect the dragon coin once more. And just walk underneath the bomb. Now there's a dragon here. And a flying lucky block. I've never seen a flying lucky block before. So we're going to one up. We run up. We're trying to run away from the massive bomb but we fail and small Mario has managed to fit under both of them so we've got dragon here double hit we've got another one a lot of dragons and a lot of bombs in this first part of the level which is probably the hardest part of this level but I died again so uh, we're gonna try Yoshi's Island 2 to see if it's any idiot So we've got these fruits here. At first I didn't quite know uh, how to collect them. As you can see here, I'm just jumping on them. Um, but later you'll see how you get them. But you, you know, you could just skip along the video. But you don't want to do that. Uh, we've got a bunch of goobachubas here. And we knock them all down, gaining us 4,000 points in total. Just missing this one. Now, in most games we've played, uh, they just die once you knock off their shell, but apparently this one it's special, so yeah. So we've got Yoshi's Egg. Hooray, thank you for rescuing me. My name's Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in the egg. I thought he just came out of the egg. I don't understand how you can trap someone in the egg. But yeah, no, it's the Mario universe for you. So uh, I've got this a ball of fire in a box to do a sponge up. Press the C button if you're using keyboard. Um, I don't play on control on this, so I'm not sure if it actually does work. So I was, I'm thinking if Yoshi can eat some of these fruits, and he can. So yeah. And then I remember there's some fruits at the beginning of the game, so I head all the way back. Yoshi wasn't so slow; we would get there a lot quicker. But yeah, and there's more good chips here. But if Yoshi steps on anything that's harmful to you, um, it'll, it instantly gets destroyed and you get the points from that. I've also quite noticed how how like this is like Super Mario Land colour. Yeah. At the time I thought I wasn't doing it correctly, but now I realise that <laughs> I was doing quickly and it was giving me the hint, but that's a bit confusing. You should have made a clear game. So we've got a dragon coin and four coins next to it. With another fruit, I'm going to call them apples. Or depending on the colour, I call them apples. So there's another apple there. I don't know what's it with this game and apples. But yeah, so we're going up this hill with more apples and a rugby player. Uh, but you have to hit the rugby player. Three times, collect 800 points. Quite like this, I've got a lot of points so far. I've collected another dragon coin, I just realised now the dragon coin gives you the most amount of points out of anything in the game. I don't know why I skipped that, but hey, I've got some lucky blocks here, more Yoshi, and since I was already on the Yoshi, just gave me a one-up thing. 
I don't know what these things are, I'm call those mole rats. So you've got some mole rats that come out of the ground. So I I don't quite know what that block does, it just spins around. So I, I don't think I was meant to do that, but I, I thought you could climb up these, apparently not. But uh, Yoshi managed to get a fruit and uh, poop out a egg. Uh, the mole rat's chasing us it's so fast, it's annoying, it shrunk me. I collected it there. The hardest thing now is to collect Yoshi once more. Because look, he's so fast and he's way faster than you when you're small Mario. So I was quite close there, but you know, I still missed. I don't understand why Mole didn't come out of that first uh, hill there, so I managed to uh, collect Yoshi. Walk along this very long path. I wish Yoshi was faster, it's a bit annoying. So another 8,000 points from that uh, dragon coin. I see one of these coming up here, so I tried and jumping on it, but, uh, but Yoshi died. Very annoyed at this that Yoshi's dead. Very, very annoying. When, you f when I complete the level, it's not going to be fun because Yoshi's not there. By the way, if you guys didn't catch on that Yoshi's my favourite character in the Mario game series, and if there's any movies, probably Yoshi's my favourite in that as well. Got another rugby player. I don't understand what what he does though when he sits down there. Maybe he's crying with me when Yoshi died. Now, it'd, it'd be a lot more fun if Yoshi was here with me, but you know, he, he's not, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I completed the level. Yoshi's not there. <laughs> three points, or three kilometers up the top. Got 20 times 50. 100, so 100 extra points, I guess. So there's Yoshi's Island 3, but I hope there's Yoshi in the first island, so I can play as him and cl complete the level as him. But I don't think there is. I jump on him once he's on the ground. Doesn't have time to get up. Click the dragon coin. Duck under the big bomb there. Double hit the dragon. Click the one up mushroom. It's going quite well so far. Uh, kill that dragon as well. Double hit it. And double hit this dragon as well. So there's a pipe here. Climb up it. Another dragon. And some. I'm not sure if it's defying gravity or just being really strange, but th th I don't understand how that works. It's a video game though, so I shouldn't be questioning it. So we've got two dragons with the head chopped off, and we're waiting for that one to come back, although I don't think he does. I think, I think he despawned, or I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. So we've got another dragon here, so we're going to jump on him and double hit him with these strawberries with a mouth coming out of it. No Yoshi so far, but that's okay. Point of advice, you can hold extra item in the box at the top of the screen. To use it, press the select button, which I never used it. I only used it when I lost the item I had, which was the one-up mushroom. If you notice, I'm big Mario now, and then when I become small Mario, the one-up mushroom at the top of the screen will come down. Oh, I think you've seen it happen earlier in this video but yeah so there's a lot of dragons here I don't know what's it with this game or this Mario game and dragons Cause I don't remember seeing them in any other games but then again this is the later game in the series that we're playing right now it's so another point of advice to pick up a shell use the X or Y button to throw a shell I don't, I don't know I, I never threw a shell this if you haven't noticed it went into the pit of the void and we, we keep we keep shrinking but hey look there's another dragon and another lucky block let's hit that lucky block and guess what we get a one-up mushroom and with her dragon as well so let's kill the dragon and you know what happens we shrink again great just makes it significantly slower I don't know what they like compress into a squished blue dot on the screen because if you look at the dragons once you hit them so look he just becomes compressed now there's 
the Fogger. And the Fog turns into the Rugby player again. I don't know why it was so hard for me to hit the Rugby player, but it was. And the Rugby player gets knocked down, and we win without Yoshi again. 10 kilometers this time. 10 kilometers? I don't know what that means. But yeah, so we get lots of points. And a lot of red stars. I guess it's the, the dragon coins, the amount of dragon coins you have in total. So go up this ladder into a pool, go up the ladder again, and enter the bonus level. Which gives points. I don't know what the P stands for, but I know these are coins, so I'm going to collect all these coins. Well, as much as we can. I didn't realize this was timed. Oh. It is time, but it doesn't show that it's time. We have 29 coins in total. Enter the pipe. And we enter this narrow tunnel, which hurts your eyes, so I apologize. So head into the lucky block thing. Well, I don't think it's a block because it's like a half circle sphere thing. Power of the switch you have, I didn't read it in time. So I don't know what this does because it just went everywhere. Oh, saving! I don't remember any saving points being in the previous games. So I don't know what that lucky block did and went everywhere. Yeah, and you saw it happen, it went everywhere. Okay, so on this like muddy podzol level, if you don't get the micro reference. Looks like pods are the big coins are dragon coins. See, this is how I know they're dragon coins. If you pick up five of these in one area, you get an extra Mario. Which I clearly have the red stars at the top of the screen say how much uh, dragon coins you have. Uh, so I don't remember getting an extra Mario though. But I don't understand the point of those lucky blocks at the bottom of the screen because you can't like collect anything out of them. Maybe you can, and I'm just stupid, but I don't believe we can. So, oh, that was quite close, I'm not going to lie. So we've got the 1-Up Mushroom giving us a thousand points. And then one lucky block there with another 1-Up Mushroom. And you can see going into the space at the top. That looks like Yoshi, not a dragon. But maybe Yoshi is a dragon, so. Okay, so we collect those two coins. And we now need to collect that coin, and we do. So, I tried to jump there. And I uh, fail, so I have to head all the way back to this Podzol Hill. And I felt that. So, yeah, great at this game, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've got the flying Goober Troopers over here. The two lucky blocks and a Yo another Yoshi egg, the best character in the Mario universe. They've got a flying chicken plate. Plates. How's that a plate? Flying chickens. What? Whatever that is. The flying chicken thing. <laughs> so with Yoshi, for some reason, he gave us bad luck and uh, made me struggle to get all these coins. But I managed to get it, and now it's going reverse clockwise. Nice. So collect. Uh, the checkpoint, click the dragon coin, kill a mob. When you stomp on the enemy, you can jump high. If you hold the jump button, use up on the control pad to jump high in the shallow water. I don't remember there being any water, especially in the sky. Unless if you're near a mountain, but I also don't see any mountains, so... Where's the water you're talking about? Okay, so we've got a flower, which gives us a thousand points and changes Mario to a red and white character. Instead of a... Red character just added white I believe so these things were so like annoying because if you look and then it switches from long to small it's, it's very confusing and it goes up and down and like the matrix matrix Mario title of this video okay so we've got a chicken but I don't know what to call that. What is that? Okay, so we've got like a green star there. I thought it would give me something interesting, but no, it just gave me a coin. And 
again, Yoshi giving us that player luck. Without letting us collect all three of those coins at once. These floating pads of brownness. I don't know. What are these things? Okay, so we collect the checkpoint once again with Yoshi. So level 3 is the best. Collecting 800 points. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.